हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अगेन वेलकम यू इन दिस क्लास इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज साइंस वोज क्लास एट फॉर चैप्टर फोर्स एंड प्रेशर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट शॉर्ट आंसर क्वेश्चंस एंड इन दिस पार्ट this is the question number 1 of short answer question you can see short answer questions question number 1 why is it preferable to carry shoulder bags that have broad straps so students you can see the answer it is preferable to carry shoulder bags that have broad straps because broad straps provide larger contact surface area which reduces the pressure on the shoulders Spe uh, students as we have studied that pressure is inversely proportional to area so as pressure as area increases pressure decreases and uh, hence broad surface area of uh, straps increases the area of contact and hence decreases pressure now see the question number 2 what are the effects of force students you can see and also we have discussed in during classes there are various effects of force and some important effects you can see on the screen the first it can move a stationary object second you can see it can stop a moving object third effect it can change the speed of motion fourth effect it can change the direction of motion of an object as a fifth effect you can see it can change the shape and the size of an object so students these were the common effects of force and uh, we have discussed these effects during our class our uh, discussion of chapter now see the question number 3 differentiate between contact and non contact forces students you can see the differences between contact and non contact forces as you can see under the partition means divide the page in two parts one side you will write about contact forces and the right hand side about non contact forces you can see and uh, under the difference of first point contact forces that is these forces can be exerted only through physical touching this is from the definition of contact force now see the first point for non contact forces these forces can be exerted without any physical touching so this was the difference between these two forces and the second point of difference you can give the example for contact forces the point number 2 point number 2 you can see uh, examples muscular force and frictional force and for non contact forces you can see examples as gravitational force magnetic force electrostatic force etc now students see the question number 4 as you can see question number 4 if the pressure x exerted by an object on an area of 20 meter square is 20 pascal what will be the force applied by the object students here area and pressure are given and you have to find out the force applied so you can see according to the formula p is equal to f by a, that is pressure is equal to force by area we get force is equal to pressure into area and by putting the value since the values are in si units so directly you can put it according to the formula pressure as 20 pascal and area as 20 meter square 20 multiplied by 20 and the si unit of force is newton so finally you will get the answer as 400 newton so students these we are answers of first four 
शॉर्ट आंसर क्वेश्चन